yeah on day four of our week two and i believe everyone is excited to see the progress we are making i believe uh you know we are proud of how far we are getting and um i believe we're excited for the next week kind of break for us to go um have some due time with the family relax and then come back next next week in um uh in our week three technically week three so yeah welcome we are going to do the normal standard formats share how yesterday has been how uh, what did you do in details and um exactly if you have any brokers or if you need any support and then will we be um helping you or even supporting you in any way possible carrot your microphone is open you can mute and then anyone who wants to go first we can take the floor good morning Let, let's be quick let's be quick anyone who wants to go first Anyone who wants to go first, I still encourage or echo what Arun always says, like, let's be the first to take initiatives when it comes to us sharing the progress of our work or even any support we need. Okay, Mikias, yes. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone. So yesterday I was working on the deliverables and I managed, I managed to do some of them, even though I didn't uh, complete as much as I would. But I think uh, I got done with most of it. So that was my journey yesterday. And today I'll be continuing on working the things that I haven't finished, like transforming and using DBT. Yeah. So that's what I will be doing today. And I have no blocker so far. All right, that's great to hear the progress, Mikis. Anyone else who wants to go next? waiting, waiting for anyone who wants to share the progress. Yes, you have time. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So yesterday, I uh, tried to do some of the projects and I, have, uh, I tried to do the deliverables and I have done that, but I haven't moved as much as I want. So today, I will try to do as much and try to finish up the project. There were some blockers yesterday, but I've uh, come through it. So today I will work on the rest of the project and I will uh, try to finish up the project. So that's, that's all, thank you. Great, thank you for sharing, Yvonne. Good morning, everyone. So uh, yesterday, I was able to do the project. I was able to do the deliverables. I had a blocker in DBT, but I am working on it. And yes, that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be, I will transform the data even more. Thank you. OK, Yvonne, glad to hear that you're finding solutions. Uh, 
Good morning, everyone. Uh, for me, it was uh, challenging yesterday because I don't know if it's uh, it's everywhere, but uh, there is some technical issues with the network uh, around where I'm from. So I have to go elsewhere to finish up my projects. I have done that. Yeah, I am happy with my progress. Thank you. Okay, great progress, Carrot. Uh, Fenuel. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, so yesterday I was able to submit the uh, entire report, and uh, I had a blocker in uh, trying to analyze the raw data, but the Makina and the Carrot were a big help, so. I managed to do that. And for today, I'm planning on to do that data transform with GPT. So that's my progress so far. All right, Fanuel. Um, lead Sorry, Biniam. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Am I audible? Mm hmm. We can. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good morning. I hope you had a great night. Um, yesterday and the previous three days, it was kind of challenging for me. I, I, I kind of found me to airflow, generally working with airflow and data pipelines. My background is just in machine learning and not working with data, so I had a tough time understanding how they work and how Python operators and batch operators work. But somehow I was able to submit the first task from the four tasks that were given. And I think the rest three are going to be dependent on the first one. So I hope it's going to be an easy two days for me or like three days until the final submission. Thank you. All right, keep it up, Biniam. Lilian. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, I was able to submit the tasks, uh, even though I had problems with loading the data frame into DBT. Um, I couldn't solve that, but it's a blocker and I'm trying to solve it today. Um, I think it's a good progress um, and that's it. Thank you. All right, Lillian, glad to hear that you're finding solutions. Um, Abraham said yesterday was a productive day for me. I successfully resolved the error I was encountering with Airflow. Great job, Abraham, allowing me to load and convert data into a data frame and then efficiently load it into the, da the database. I also managed to submit all the deliverables, but I faced a challenge when trying to connect Postgres to DBD, which remains unresolved. Um, anyone who wants to help Abraham know how he can navigate the challenge? Anyone? You can also read the question that he has in the chat box. Or Abraham, do you want to open your mic and uh, share the challenge out loud? Abraham, if you can hear us. Or can I call up Emtsina if you are here? Can you help with the question? Um, yes. Um, yeah, I'm here. Um, can you say something specific about the problem between in connecting Postgres with uh, 
is dbt like uh, is it failing at the failing the connection like when you're doing dbt debug you are failing the connection there You didn't hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, for us, we can hear you. Probably Abraham is saying that there is background noise on his side. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can maybe write in the chat box and... Okay. Yeah. Okay, please put in the chat box. Let, let's continue um, more people to share. Anyone else who wants to go? Elias, do you want to share with us the progress of your work yesterday? Am I older? Yeah, you are. Okay, this other was a bit challenging for me. I was trying to load the data to the first of all, and I was facing a challenge. That's with the help of uh, my peers here. Uh, I was able to trace uh, the data frame and uh, try to load it. <laughs> uh, I had uh, great help from Manuel, Gerard, and especially Aaron, where we had it. It was helping me a lot. And, uh, um, and today I plan to progress on the rest of the tests. Thank you. Elise, not sure if it was on my end, but I didn't catch well the challenge that you're facing. I was facing some challenge to load the, uh, to, to create the data frame from the raw data, and I managed to do that and uh, load it to the process. Oh, that means you managed everything okay now? So far. So far. All right. Uh, Beza. Beza, you can also share with us. Beza Miss Finn. You are not here. If you're not able to speak, you can also share it in the chat box. Mactis. Mactis, Rodolph, Nathaniel. Uh, if you allow me, Basklin, yes, uh, I, I will take a. a a few seconds to answer a question in the chat box. So yeah, Abdul, Hamid, sure. Abdul Hamid Musa is asking, I have a question regarding DBT transformation. What kind of transformation are we required to do using DBT? I mean, write any kind of transformation you can think of. You are not required to write a specific transformation. Just like, um, you just have a few, a couple of examples, a couple of transformations that you can, I mean, it's up to you basically here. There is no requirement for a specific transformation. Uh, is that clear? Um, uh, I don't know if Abdul Hamid heard this. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks, Emtina. Birahin, you can go next.
Bear hand. I can see you raised your hand, but you are on mute. Mm. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so yesterday was good, still with many errors, like trying to connect the app flow into the dark with everything and try to do the transformation and still having the struggle, but still not connected. I would love if anyone worked for me and like on Slack to talk with me in the Slack and help me out. I really do beg for this because like it gets impossible and I cannot figure it out still now. But for the deliverables, I try to write uh, the report and then show what I did until uh, the deadline. So basically, it was, it was good, still was challenge, but yeah. And for today, I'll we'll be trying to work on the transformations and then afterwards, if possible, move to the uh, readers. That's all. Thank you. Okay, not, not sure if it's my internet, but you were breaking somehow. Others, were you hearing Birahan? Give me some thumbs up for I is in the chat. Okay. okay. No one heard what I did say. Um, okay, am I audible now? Yes, you are now. Try again. Okay. Okay, I was saying yesterday I was having years uh, of tr well trying to uh, do the transformation and connect airflow with a which is a DAG with a DBT, and I still couldn't figure that out. And I'd really appreciate if anyone uh, did that to help me out with connecting them because like it took me a lot of hours and still not figuring it out. So for the deliverables, but I try to write the report and then show what I did until the deadline and for today I'll be working on transformation and if possible move to the dash dashboard. And that's all thank you. Sure I uh Thanks for sharing. Nominating someone else. Um, checking the list. Okay, Rudolph said yesterday was a bit challenging for me. I managed to submit something though. That's great. But I need to review the way to load data frame. This will be my focus this morning. And then in the afternoon, I will continue with DPT and Redash. That's great to hear, Rodolf. Can we hear from Nathanael and Nasrallah? Uh, hey guys, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pascal. Yeah, so yesterday, like, um, I think I was also struggling in the same manner, like, as most of the people mentioned. I was trying to connect the you know, the DBT models with the Airflow scripts. Like I write the both the model and the script, but connecting them and running the the DBT models with the Airflow docs, it's a still a mystery. Like for me too. <clears throat> yeah. So today, like today's focus is going to be that at least managing to do one very simple transformation using uh, 
Airflow DAX. It's, it's like the milestone of today. But aside from that, like one thing that I want to share, like <clears throat> I think like something that I understand and something that I have done this week is that last week, um, I was, I, was, I was so lost in the tasks. So what was different from this week's task description was uh, in the previous week, there was a clear uh, executable tasks listed. Like we have very clear things to do, do this, write this, write this. So because of that, I was so lost in doing uh, those things and I wasn't focusing on learning, you know, the like many things, I was just focusing on doing the task. And by the end of the week, I managed to deliver many things, but like when I tried to, when I tried to reflect, I wasn't learning that much. So this week, something that I have done different was uh, trying to learn and plus executing the tasks that are given. So you know, balancing those two things, that's still uh, I must think to do. Yeah, I want to share that. Like I was, I was waiting for this moment to share this. So that's it, guys. Uh, the, like the today, the, like the milestone is just doing one transformation with the dark script. Wow! Thank you, Pascal. Sure. Thank you, Nathaniel. That was so detailed uh, about how you're navigating the tasks very detailed thanks for sharing uh, Nasrallah. Uh, good morning everyone so um yesterday i began with the most of the task and the deliverable um i'm planning today to do the model transfer and from there try to start the readers or the dashboard for it yeah That's all if I'm audible. Okay. All right. Thanks for sharing. Mura and Mubarak. Hello. Hello everyone. Yes. Um, yesterday was a bit overwhelming for me, but at least I managed to to load the data to my to load the data and start doing the analysis. Uh, today I'm planning on working on DBT and transforming the data and trying to. I had a a blocker when I was trying to commit my message to my my project to github but i'm working on it yeah that's it for me oh, well keep it up mora um alexander said yesterday presented several challenges for me however in the end i persevered and did my best today i successfully addressed some of the issues i faced yesterday and continue to make progress. Great to hear, Alexander. Abraham also said, hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Yesterday was good. I was able to get something for the deadline. That's great to hear. Aside from that, I've been communicating with them, Tina, and my peers for support. I hope to make the best out of today. I had issues regarding loading the second data frame onto Postgres. We'll continue working on today. Keep it up, Abraham. And of course, as always, seek for help in any channel or even inbox the tutors. If you need any kind of support, just don't get stuck anywhere alone. Um, that is it. I can give time to Emptina for some check-in or if you have any progress questions you want to 
uh, check how we are navigating or if you ha don't have anything at all. Um, the floor is yours. Uh, okay, so yeah, so if anyone has a question or want to say, um, um, let me check first, uh, do you hear me well? Hello? Yes, we can hear okay. you well. All right. Uh, so yeah. So um, anyone who have uh, like a, a question or something to to share. Uh, otherwise, I I wanted to ask you guys about um, if if uh, like your understanding of the of the um, of the challenge this week or like the final. Let me see. Um, so the flow diagram for this for this week, the tech stack, how things, how the components, these different components, you're learning about these different components. So how do you put them all together? Does anyone have a, like, um, can anyone share their understanding of that? Um, maybe the question is not clear. Like, it's, it was a deliverable for yesterday. So I'm just asking you to, uh, if you have like a new understanding, you think, or something interesting that you, you learned. Otherwise, um, Um. Okay, Abraham. Okay, uh, I have questions about uh, airflow. Uh, yes. In principle, I understand how it goes, but uh, in implementation, uh, right after we are done with uh, creating models on dbt uh, do we go back and create an airflow or were we supposed to create an airflow in the first place uh so in airflow you create dags right this uh, directed uh acyclic diagrams uh which is like it's a python code um that uh, basically you define a task or a set of tasks that can be run at a specific time. So this is what a DAG does, right? And uh, if you created DBT models, these models can be run, right? So you can run them, you can run them by hand by running DBT run, but you can also create a task or a DAG in Airflow, an Airflow DAG that will run these models for you at a specific time. Uh, or on trigger so if this makes sense for you and i think we like uh you have a uh, in the challenge uh um folder you have an example of uh, of a dog that can run dbt transformations basically so yeah so a dbt run is a, just a bash command right you can run it on in the shell so can create a, a task with a batch operator that will run it for you. Does that make sense? Is it like, do you get like the idea of this? Uh, yes, I did. But what did you say was mentioned on the folder or was it included on the folder? Uh, sorry, no, so not the folder. There was a, when uh, there was a repo that was shared. Uh, sorry, it's not, it's not in the folder. It's uh, in the repo that was that included a demo of DBT and Airflow. You have like, I think, uh, a DAG that uh, like runs um, like a, a, the DBT transformations. I think you have you have that in in the repo. Um, let me see if I can open it uh, just to show you. Um, 
के लिए I think uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm presenting now. Um, so, so this is, uh, do you see like my screen? I suppose you do. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, so this is uh, like a repository that was shared and you have like air products here and yes i think uh, yeah so these are like uh, an example and this is like a schedule to schedule uh, dbt so you can see that it's like run bash operators and you have like an example of how to do this basically create a task that runs um runs a, a bash command uh dbt run for example so um that's what I wanted to, to could, show. Could you share that with us? It was shared already, you... but okay, yeah, we shared it already on the, on the week two. But yeah, again, we can put this. Sure, I will. I will share it again. Uh, yeah, okay, sometimes thanks. I think. Yeah, no problem. Let me stop sharing. Okay, let me. Uh, yeah, uh, another question. I will put this this link in week two channel um, right now. Uh, yeah. So another questions, or should we like um, everyone is uh, like satisfied? Everyone knows what they are working on. Everything is fine. Hi. Okay, Fanu. Uh, so can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I have a question on Airflow Doug. Yeah. So when we schedule the Doug, it runs repeatedly, right? Is the schedule we provide for it? Well, that's something you can control, basically. It can run, um, uh, it can run like uh, repeatedly, or it can only run only once. You can there is an option to do that. Like when you define the DAG, you in the um, in the like the the parameters you define, you define like uh, the starting time and you define the schedule basically. Um, okay. Yeah. So you define so that. My, my question. Okay. So my question is like for so this challenge you're supposed to load the raw data once, right? Yeah. In the product. But in a real world situation, like how does it work? Like if a new information or if a new raw data comes, are we supposed to write a new DAG for it? Or is there a folder checker or something like to input new raw data? Yeah, it depends. Like, uh, yeah, it depends on like the kind of source. In, in I mean, in real, in real, in the real world, it depends on like the source of data you have. Maybe you're collecting data from something, like um, uh, you're maybe you're aggregating information from uh, uh, from some websites that you like. Uh, you want to create to collect this data every every day, once every day, and then you like maybe you create a doc to collect this this. Um, this data, like, and you schedule it to run every day at a specific time. Uh, it can be like, uh, you can also schedule things on trigger. So something, some event happens and then the, the DAG is, is triggered to run. Um, some, maybe some of your tasks are uh, like, can, can run um, uh, more frequently than others. It is, so yeah, you have a total freedom into, into, in doing that. So Airflow gives you this and and what's perfect also about airflow is that you can set the dependencies between different um 
between different tasks. Uh, so, and something that runs only after the other one runs. Yeah. So, I, I mean, yeah, does this make sense to you? Like, I it does like, in a general case, but like, I wanted to understand how it works. Like, so, we check out, you know, schedule first. So, I think I understood somehow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just like uh, think of maybe like if you're collecting, you're crawling maybe information from some websites and uh, you want to collect this data like every day. I mean, you just schedule the, the doc to, to, to run this collection like um, once a day. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have a specific example in mind to, to, to explain this really. Um, I, I get it. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Maybe if someone uh, someone has an example that can can say. Um or otherwise if anyone has another question. Abdul Hamid. Go ahead. Uh, hi Tina. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Okay, so I installed Airflow using Docker, and uh, whenever I try to run a doc uh, by navigating to my uh, in which the dbt uh, project file is at, uh, actually the dbt file, uh, not the dbt file, but the file that contains uh, the code to load the data into a Postgres database. I wanted to uh, create an Airflow doc to do that, but whenever I try to um, navigate to that folder, it says the folder or file doesn't exist. So what I'm guess what I'm guessing is uh, the file is not getting um, mounted on the Docker uh, whenever the Docker the Docker is running. So I was wondering if uh, there is uh, a solution for that. Uh. Uh, uh okay fanuel do, do you have a suggestion for this or are you uh, are you uh, want to answer? Yeah. if i'm not mistaken like it's telling you like airflow doesn't exist right in the cook the, the file doesn't exist by airflow like you're trying to reference jobs uh, and be saying like you can't report it right uh, there is a bash operator that uh tries to run uh, a file that's found in my folder but whenever that file uh, that bash command is trying to execute the file is not uh, being uh, uh available either. uh okay like are you using a different folder uh, to run their program uh there uh, no that so that DAG, inside that DAG, there is a command that will navigate to another folder. Uh, that's how uh, the file that MTN shared, the repo that MTN shared works. Uh, it navigates to another directory, it activates uh, the Python environment, then run that uh, dbt run command. So whenever I try to navigate to my directory, it says the directory is not found. And I'm guessing that's happening because it's running in a Docker environment. It's not uh, finding my file correctly. Yeah, yeah. So I sort of run into the same problem with Airflow. And what it suggested was like, I think the Docker image that created the Airflow runs in a different environment. Yes. And so what I did was like, since I was using Anaconda for Jupyter, mm -hmm. I did install Airflow again in that environment and worked. So I think it's a different oh, development thing. Yeah. That's how I think mine, oh, okay. if it was the same problem. But if it's not, then right, you can contact me and start and you can see the interest. All right. Okay. Thank you, Fanil. OK. So like, uh, did you get a suggestion that you're going to try, Abdul Hamid? Yes. Panel? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I personally like um, I have to think a little bit about because uh, yes the code you saw the one in the repo is that for just like a, uh, this worked for me for, with a normal installation of Airflow it's not a it's not a Docker 
and um, um, yeah, I, I personally don't know how to how to make it work with with the Docker installation. Um, so I, I have to think a little bit about this. Meanwhile, maybe uh, you have you've got a suggestion from Fano. Maybe someone else would also. Um, anyone like is welcome to to give suggestions. Well, Okay, Yara, Yara is asking, like, can we dockerize our, can't we dockerize our project after we finish it? Um, are you actually required to, to do, yes, you can dockerize your project after you finish it, but what we are talking about here is just the installation of, um, of Airflow that was just installed, like, within Docker, or use Docker to install it, so these are, um, I don't know if there, you, you are asking your question is related to what we're talking about. Seems like there is a little bit of a confusion. Um, Carol, do you want to say something? You want to ask a question? Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Another question, but it's just a recommendation for our pyramid. Um, okay. So I'm guessing the problem is that you are just using Docker for the airflow, not for the DBT. So uh, I think you have to uh, also create an image for the DBT in the same container as uh, airflow. Uh, so to include like the DBT within within the, the same container, but isn't like um, okay? I, I'm not sure about this. So, but yeah. Maybe it can be. It might be correct. I'm yeah, be, sure. because I think you are running the airflow in the container, so uh, the container is going to look for the DBT in that container. So the, it's low, it, it's going to look for the image in that container. So uh, I think the error is arising. Yeah, the thing because. is that uh, um, my 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 uh, uh, my. This is just. I'm, I'm wondering here. I don't actually know, but I'm just wondering if it's. Um, um when you run docker within a container can it like it doesn't connect with uh with uh, can you connect it with a dark folder that is outside the container um it feels I like i think so i don't think so i'm not i'm not sure too but i don't think so because yeah so the, yeah so i'm asking just a question i don't actually know the answer i can i will look it up after this um yeah, okay. yeah. if anyone sure. else knows the answer for this yeah please I, I i love that we're having a discussion now that's that's very good yeah um, so my so i think yeah. i have uh, i have worked with a demo so yeah i what i did was i dockerized both the airflow and the dbt so they are in the same container so when I, whenever i run the docker it looks in the same container so i'm not i didn't have the error but it was just a demo, just a small project, so I didn't try it for this one. So. I mean, it, it it works, and basically you can also, I mean, this is like the the power of Docker, basically. You can have them both in the same container. You can also have uh, two containers running, and they like share a volume. Uh, you know what a volume is with Docker? So they can share like the same kind of, um, they have a shared vo folder, let's say, if the so volume is. And uh, they can also like, um, a, a volume is just like, a, yeah, it's a folder that is, is controlled by Docker basically. So then you can have multiple containers, like you can have uh, your application that have different components. And like, for example, you have, um, Airflow in one container, you can have the like the, your database Postgres in one container, and uh, whatever backend you have in in another container, and then you connect all of this together in um, it's a multi container application basically. Um, um, yeah. So, Kerot, uh, so did you install Airflow using man uh, a manual approach or uh, using Docker? No, Docker. I installed both. Uh, dpt and dot dog uh, airflow in docker 
So yeah, uh, the same as an empty nine state. So uh, what you just referred to the example, those uh, DVT and the four are in your container. They might not be in the same container, but they are both localized in, it might be in the same container or in different containers, right? But I think the problem Abdul Hamid is facing is that only the airflow is in a, uh, in a Docker environment and the DBT is in a nor normal environment. So whenever yeah. he runs, yeah. So, yeah. All right. All so, right. Sorry to interrupt, yes. Um, yes, so uh, yeah, I think what Carol is saying is it makes sense. Like this is seems like the issue that like the connection between wherever yeah like your airflow is running where airflow is running inside the container and where dbt is um so that's why like the code you have doesn't work um so yeah i'm just agreeing that i think this is this makes sense that this is the source of the problem okay, um i will uh look into how i can run dbt in the container as well okay yes so very great i would say like if not no one else has uh, something to say let's uh, end this here and uh, let's continue these discussions on slack um yeah so yeah great work and uh, keep it up okay bye oh sorry it's uh, great carol has his hand up sorry do you want do you want to say something go ahead no, I, I guess it was just left there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, um, yeah. So let's end this here. Um, have a have a nice end of rest of your day. We'll meet in a session soon. Okay. Bye. Mm.